Hi guys, in the next few minutes I'm going to take you through the basic setup for braided hair in Cinema 4D. Okay, first thing we're going to do is create a new helix. This will control the shape of our hair. Now over here in the attributes panel, I'm going to select the radius and set that to 3 centimeters, and the end radius to 1 centimeter. Zoom in here. Increase this end angle. We can see the line gets more curves. Something around 2500 degrees should be good. Then we're going to create a MoGraph cloner and drop the helix into it there. As you can see, it's just created three vertical copies that's not what we want so over here I'm going to change the mode from linear to radial and turn the radius all the way down to zero and you can kind of see that's the sort of shape we're after but let's bring the count down to something a little more reasonable like that if you're happy with your shape Come up to the objects menu right click to current state to object it's going to create a copy here three different helixes we want them to be connected together so select all three right click connect objects and delete i'm just going to hide the initial cloner there because all we want to see is this helix here then go to simulate hair objects and add hair and you can see it's created some guides here that's not really what we're after so select the hair object click guides and select the root to spline guides that will guide the hair along these lines that we've created but if you zoom in you can see it doesn't quite line up that's because there's not enough segments so if we increase that to something quite reasonable, 70, that looks pretty good. But that's still not what we're after. We're almost there. If we go to Editor, change the display from Guidelines to Hair Polygons, we will be able to see our hair rendered in the viewport. But not quite yet. Now go to the Hairs tab in your hair object. Set the count to one. Go down to cloning. And set that to something like 50. Now you can see it's created a lot of hairs going around those lines. We turn the root radius down to something like two. And the tip down to one, you can see that's the effect that we're after. For more short tutorials like this one, hit the subscribe button below.